Um, talk about my mom a little, my mom. Love her to death, but for the first time in my life, this was about a year ago, I got to witness my mom have a yalehwi. <laughs> Egyptian women, very overdramatic. You guys see it in the soap operas all the time. I thought it was just for TV. Apparently, it's real. <laughs> now, if you don't know what a yalehwi is, it's kind of like a Middle Eastern breakdown, okay? <laughs> and when you get really bad news, the Arab woman always stares at you and goes, about that. But what I didn't know is there's different stages to the Yalehwi. That's only stage one, but there's a second stage of the Yalehwi. And that's when the news is a little bit worse. Basically, they clutch their chest and begin to beat themselves over the head before screaming it. It's always like, Yalehwi! Which I thought was the extent of it. But apparently there's a third stage to the Yalehwi. I like to call it the Yalehwi Overture <laughs> for its sheer artistry and passion. This is when the news is so horrific, she begins to look for someone that isn't there, mumbling the words, Le, Le, Le Rabbi Le, which means why, why, why God, why? And then, with one final Yalehwi, she'll point to the air and pass out Alice Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me give you an example. Mom, I'm marrying a white woman. <laughs> Lee! Lee! Lee, I love you, Lee! You okay, Mom? Oh, man. And like my mom, she wants me to meet someone, you know? She wants me to meet someone. I've tried everything, you know? Whenever I go to Egypt, I always buy all those little trinkets, you know, the hieroglyphics on them. That way, when I'm dating a girl in the U.S., I just give it to her and tell her those are her initials. Be like, yeah, 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 no, your initials are a feather dog parakeet. Yeah, here you go. You're so sweet. Yeah, I know. I've, try, I've tried to meet, you know, women everywhere. I've done, like, book of the month clubs, you know. I've, I've gone to clubs. I love going to hip-hop clubs. You guys like hip-hop here? Yeah. yeah, all right. Like, I always like going to hip-hop clubs, but the problem is I, I never know the words to the song. So I look really stupid, you know. Let me, let me show you what it looks like. Cap D coming, 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 you can actually what a song. And what it is, is you yell the word what during key moments, and people will think you know the words to the song. <laughs> Let me show you, DJ. Cap D coming, 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 Cap D But here's the problem. You can't what an entire song and then what every song or people think you're Rain Man. <laughs> so what you have to do is you have to mix it up a little bit. You gotta throw in a what, then throw in a here it comes, <laughs> then throw in a this is the part. So it's what, here it comes, this is the part. Let me show you. Cap D coming, 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 Cap D
If you're watching at home, when you buy socks, don't buy different type of socks. Only buy one kind of sock, buy many of them, so you never have to sort them. So you do the laundry, you just throw them in the drawer. Any two you pick out are gonna match. Simplify your life. This is what I'm saying. That was a lot of fun. I'm a little winded there, but no. Yeah, yeah, I just uh, I inherited those from uh, Papa. So yeah, no, it was a great set. The crowd is awesome, and I'm glad it's over now. I can just hang out and watch the other great comics. We only have a few